welcome to the latest episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm your host, Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware experts to talk about VMware's vSphere, as well as related technologies and programs. Uh, today's episode, we're talking about the vSphere beta community. Our expert today is Adam Evaristo. Adam leads our beta communities for vSphere, as well as other VMware infrastructure uh, products and technologies. Welcome, Adam. Hey, Glenn. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you've been doing this for a while. Um, uh, tell us more about the vSphere beta community for those who are maybe not aware or not who don't participate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and again, thanks for the opportunity. So vSphere beta community is VMware's official a private beta program uh, that's offered and delivered through <clears throat> through the communities, uh, through the VMTN communities. Um, so listed there. If the if if you're a member of the vSphere Beta Program community, you'll be able to see that once you log into the communities. Otherwise, um, it won't appear for you. And um, there are several thousand people in the communities, representative from multiple um, regions around the world, all over the world. Actually, as a matter of fact, uh, mostly um, enterprise corporations. There are some uh, partners as well. Uh, but mostly uh, vSphere customers, of course. Uh, we post some very good quality builds there that contain some new features and functionality uh, that the vSphere product and engineering team are working on. Uh, and we look to see, you know, to get feedback from, from the members and to share uh, what we've been working on. So it sounds like, and the fact that you're we call it a community, that it's um, it's not just... You know, it's it's more than just hey, early access to code, I guess. Um, can anyone join this? Um, join the community? That's a really really good question. So uh, anyone can apply to join the program. We are accepting applications on a rolling basis. Um, I, I think maybe Glenn, you could probably share if you can a link to join and find more information. However, we do limit it uh, to. Uh, corporate IT uh, members. So um, just to, just a, a hint for some folks that are interested in joining, um, one of the things we do look for is a corporate email address. So um, any of those at Gmail or at Hotmail or any of those, uh, unfortunately for us, you ind indicate um, that would be like a personal user, private user, and we do want to look for uh, uh, vSphere customers. Okay. Yeah. So we want to verify that you're affiliated with a, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, one of our customers. Okay. And then, uh, so kind of summarize for us. You know, what are the benefits to joining the community? Why, if I if I'm not already part of the beta community, you know, is there anything other than obviously getting early access to to code, maybe early access to vSphere uh, mm -hmm. builds, you know, for future releases? Anything else other than other than that that I might enjoy as part of the community? Absolutely. Yes. So it's part of the vSphere beta program community, like I mentioned, it is a private community. Um, so uh, after signing up and expressing your interests and um, completing the registration and then and then uh, joining and participating in the community, um, that then allows you to become a member of four, over 4,000 members currently in the private beta community. Um, with exposure to new VMware technologies, innovations, um, access to several VMware folks within the product management team across R&D, engineering, and even support, um, ability to have discussions um, with folks within VMware. So it's not just you know, the uh, one-way um, interaction or messages being sent over and you know, um, kind of getting lost into a black hole. It's actually, there is actual you know, um, uh, discussions that are taking place, questions about um, some of the features that you know, some of the uh, folks have seen in the new builds or you know, some, some questions they may have about um, something they don't understand. Um, but there's a there's a ton of great benefits, um, you know, to joining the community. That's interesting. So I could actually engage with and have discussions with other VMware customers that are part of the community. I guess that's yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. Nice. So I didn't mention that, uh, but yes, um, being part of the community um, gives uh, folks the ability to share best practices or ask questions and even uh, network with other IT professionals. So so it's not just reaching out and 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 getting to know 
let's say v VMR product managers, but also your colleagues in the industry. That's nice. Yeah. So um, what are, uh, you know, currently, so my understanding with the beta community is we don't necessarily have, um, you know, like the vSphere 8 beta, right? It, it's it's more of an ongoing process. So so kind of to explain how that works. Sure. Thanks, Clint. That's, that's a really good question. So um, traditionally, um, some beta programs, in fact, the way that we used to run this uh, vSphere beta program in the past is where we would stand up a new beta program, for instance, for a new release um, that we're planning in the near future. And then we would stop that beta and then restart um, a new beta for another release. Um, Aside from all that, what we're doing now, and we've actually launched this two years back, where we now have this continuous program. And uh, in addition to the enrollments and the recruitments that happen on an ongoing basis, uh, members of the community can expect to download and install uh, fresh new versions of the vSphere beta every couple of months or so. Um, so if, if I look back the last couple of years, we've probably dropped, I think, uh, it's about three or four you know, updated builds throughout the year. Um, and then so each one is coupled with a set of um, uh, features that we're um, sort of highlighting in per, per se uh, in an upcoming release, um, in addition to um, the description, some notes, uh, as well as some some use some some uh, test scenarios that uh, folks can try out. I also didn't mention so there is the uh, the download beta program, which is the main uh, mode of testing and consuming the beta. But we also have a virtual lab available. Um, so folks that don't want to download and install uh, the builds themselves, they can use our VMware virtual hosted lab. Um, and that's available through the beta community, the vSphere beta community as well. There's a link contained inside uh, where they'll be able to just launch uh, the VMware lab and then run the same tests uh, as and, and try out the new you know, features that are, um, that are in there um, without having to download and install on their own. That's nice because then, you know, if I don't have a lab or exactly. for whatever reason, I don't have a test bed, but I want to, you know, take a look at the usability, maybe, uh, you know, give some feedback around that. I can still do that. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's, that's right. So, okay. Um, I'm interested. How how can I join the community? Yeah, no, that's, that's a good question. So um, there is a blog uh, that we've recently posted. Um and uh, I think we can put that down below uh, in this video. Uh, the blog will contain information, some of the stuff that we've already just uh, discussed, uh, but it'll also have a link to the sign up form uh, that okay. I encourage folks to apply, uh, sign up, and to join us uh, in the beta community. Um, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll definitely include a link. Uh, to that in the description, both a link to the blog as well uh, as well as a link to the sign up form. So um, thank you for that. And then before we go, anything else that uh, that you wanted to share about the beta community yes. and why people might want to join? You know, there, there's so many other uh, things that um, I could sort of give away or talk about. Um, in the past, I would say we have uh, given away, like, for example, free tickets to some events, conferences, some VMware swag, and some other cool stuff um, that we've offered to the vSphere beta community. Um, so again, I encourage everyone um, that's watching this to check out the blog, read that, um, sign up for the uh, beta program, and we hope to see you in the community soon. Yeah, okay. So obviously no promises about the future, but yeah. in the past, you know, uh, beta community members have been been uh, kind of, uh, you know, have been able to access some pretty cool, cool things. Uh, okay, great. Thank you, Adam. Uh, with that, that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, thanks again, Adam, for joining us today. And, and if all of you, if you enjoyed this episode, please join us next time for another episode of Breakroom Chats. This is your host, Glenn Simon, signing off for now. Have a great day. Thank you.